Is there a crate? No, nope. man, I haven't seen any crates since... Oh, wait, there is one. <laughs> Hello, everybody, welcome back to another episode of East 8, like our most of Donna. Last episode, we, um... We did some raids, and we also explored more of the cave. Place. <laughs> really a power elixir? <laughs> probably should have checked this, uh... Well, probably should have uh, checked this beach a little bit more thoroughly. He has so much strength. <laughs> it's insane. Um, I guess Adol for a bit. He could use a bit more strength. I can feel the strength! Right, so in this episode we're just gonna go and continue exploring this entire cave place. The eroded valley, there we go. But I have a tiny feeling that we're gonna be fighting a boss in a moment. Um, I go. guess go. I'll go and play with Adol then. Oh boy. Oh lordy lordy lord. <laughs> Insert Patrick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna get wrecked. Look at the size of him! Monsters many eyed captor, Gargantula. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> I like it quite a lot. Alright, let's see what this guy can do. Do you have a particular weak spot? No. I can hit you wherever the hell I want to. <laughs> nice! Can I stun you like this? No. God damn it. The amount of damage I'm taking from these enemies, <laughs> from these bosses is fucking insane. It's like half of my health is just gone. I'm gonna use my extra skill for a moment. I'm not gonna get him stunned, I think. In general, so... Might as well use it. Oh boy. He or she is very mad, and it's also doing a lot of damage to me. Jesus. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I should have waited with my extra skill. Oh boy. Laser! I just rolled straight into that. <laughs> nice. Now let me go and... Cure that poison everybody, I think. How do I deal... I'm sorry, how do I deal with that attack? He just still knocks me into oblivion. This is really bad. My god, that is the understatement of the fucking year, buddy. Well, oh boy. Three hundred and eighteen damage. Three hundred and thirty-four damage. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Nope, 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 nope. Kill the thing. Kill it. Burn it with fire. Hey, you. Well, that went uh, totally according to plan. Ah, <laughs> uh, a flame stone. 
That's pretty nice. Uh, I guess I'll continue for now, and I'll go and... <laughs> I'll go and use the flamestone. I'll give the flamestone to watch your face once I'm... Once I've gotten the person that is over here. At least I think there's gonna be a person over here. Sunrise Beach, I remember that name. Right, there's a couple of fish to catch over here, but I don't remember which ones. Hmm? We're out. Looks like we made it to another shoreline. Judging from the direction we traveled, this must be the east side of the island. Look, Mr. Kristen, someone's there. Hmm. Ah, her, okay. <laughs> Before we go to her, yeah. Let me first go and run around this place. So I can get what is over here. There is another location over here, though. No location discovered. The beach remains. What a superb view! <laughs> ah yes, what a superb view of a dead creature. Well, I guess that could be a superb view. It's a little bit offensive to the dead creature, though. <laughs> Gotta get all them coconuts. I'm gonna jump around like crazy. Fill in the entirety of the map. Let me also go and uh, equip my gloves again. I don't need the light anymore. And that is the entire sunrise beach done. <laughs> well, except for the fish I'm gonna catch eventually. But I'll come back, like I'll make another moment where I'm gonna be like, hmm, I wanna catch a fish. Once I've explored some more areas. Uh, where am I? I'm pretty sure I've already missed my business meeting. <laughs> um, pardon me. Hey! What the? Who the? You scared me. I apologize for frightening you. Frightening you. I take it you were a passenger aboard the Lombardia. The, yes, I was. But are you here to rescue me? <laughs> Look at the Sherlock. Uh... A desert island. Well, that sucks. So, how are you gonna make this up to me? Huh? I just got out on the biggest... I uh, just lost out on the biggest business opportunity of my life. I don't understand what you mean, but I'm really sorry this happened. <laughs> Finally, a real challenge. Dina. Oh, Dina! Like a boxy, but what are you supposed to do with a shop? We're all Casper's on silent, and none of us got, money, got any money. So, what difference does, it ma does that make? I'm an entrepreneur, I'll make it work somehow, or my name isn't Donna. Or Dina. <laughs> Donna, whoops, sorry, wrong character. <laughs> and so Adel and the others convinced the hot-blooded merchant Dina to join them. She went on and on sharing all her goals and grievances as they headed back to the village. <laughs> and Dina has joined Casper's the village. <laughs> Someone is up there. Yeah, <laughs> so far so good. Everything is shaping up nicely. Now that everything is uh, up and running, it's time to start doing business. Dina's opened up her trading post. Uh, here you can trade up and down for items and take advantage of Dina's deals too. Trading and selling. Materials can be traded. Dina's uh, trade up low quality materials for high quality materials or trade down high quality materials for low quality materials. Dina will host special deals at her trading post too. Trading jewels. Exchange prismatic jewels with Dina. Dina is a collector of prismatic jewels. She is willing to trade rare items for them. Prismatic jewels can be found in submerged treasure chests, so don't forget to search the iron for them too. Okay, cool. Sorry for working it to the bone, but thanks for helping me see me get this to, uh, me to set this up, my god. Don't worry about it. Well, aren't you a nice guy? You haven't complained once. To celebrate my grand opening, you can have this, to this as a token of my gratitude. Insect repellent. Spay a little of this stuff and those pesky insects will know what hit them. Plus, it's really effective against, uh, at weakening those sturdy insect nests. Insect repellent can be used directly from the item menu. Just temporarily stuns uh, insectoid enemies and destroys insect nests. Destroy insect nests to gain access to new areas. I look forward to doing business with you. Yes, I'm actually very interested to see what you have. So. 
Straight up for... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> is this the blood? <laughs> uh, insect Reploid? Uh, this isn't... That, that's the wrong game. Um, you can get a lot of things right now, though. That's really nice. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Gamma's coin. Rare item drop rate up. Goronga pincers and salamandine hide. And an empty bottle with Goron pincers and Belfordune muskers. Uh, muskers. 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 You can also get ripe ones if you... Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, done already? Hey, welcome. <laughs> this woman. Um, and then trade down. Okay. And then trade jewels for bait, or a big pearl, or spirit necklace, or temp selection. Okay. Intriguing. I'm gonna leave that for now. Then. Any quests? Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Um, hmm. Seeing strange beasts near the village at night. Do they have no harm? Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no 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 no! I remember that one. That's a nasty one. <laughs> I guess I'll go and do the the one from her then. I, oh wait, I have, I have a thing. I have a thing to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> I have a thing, I have a thing. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now she also has a new level of armor that you can make right now. Uh, I guess I'm going to be making three of these, or four of these. I still, I feel like the defense is not worth it. It's complete. Leave it to me. All right, finished. Leave it to me. Ooh, it's complete. Leave it to me. All right, finished. There we go. Used up all of my thick hide. What should I upgrade? All right. I'll get started. Next level, please. All right. A sword finished. that combines offensive and defensive attributes, and it looks fucking amazing. I'll get started. All right. The flamberge, a piercing sword with a supple blade that, fi uh, that flickers like fire. Leave it to me. A heavy hammer that requires great strength to swing. And I need five more pieces of iron ore. Um, let's see. Five more... Oh yeah, uh, five more pieces of iron ore. Then we're going to this. So see you later! Sure. There we go. He also has minus defense, I just noticed. Okay, cool. We get a beast it's sniper. Complete. The precisely installed bayonet is made for fighting off various beasts. All right. Can I... Can I... Uh, no, I need it's more there. iron ore. Okay. I could technically get more iron ore, but meh. Let me also go and take a look at what Addison has. Well, Addison is gone. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> no. Alright, so let's go and start with Dina's request. Power boy. Oh, you must have checked the bulletin board. <laughs> That's great. I'll tell you all about it, since you're a special guy. I guess it's better if I just show you instead of talking your ear off. Dina revealed an old map to Adel. Strange words in the drawing of a treasure chest and decorated the yellow parchment. Hehehehe, <laughs> I know what, this, what that glint in your eye means. That's right, this baby here, right here is a genuine bona fide treasure map. I found it not long ago after I washed up here. I was wandering along the coast when I came across the corpse of a dead pirate. He was clutching this map in his cold dead hands, so I figured it was okay for me to take it from him. <laughs> uh, anyway, I ch anyway, check it out. X marks the spots, uh, somewhere along the coast east of the Great Canyon Valley. King of B. Go from residence. Hmm. And get a lot of this text. I am the King of Bees. Greet me at my castle. Hmm. Well, there you have it. The numbers look like measurements. Probably Melia, you know? I am, I'm about 1.3 Melia tall myself, so... Wait, how do I come I supposed to measure 882 Melia? Nah, I give up. You're an adven aren't you an adventurer, Adel? Why don't you figure this out? Well, I'll give it a shot, I guess. Hmm, you don't sound too excited to do this for me. Oh well, I guess it's fine. Not like I have any clues either. Take it map with you and find me some sweet pirate booty. Heck, I'll even split it with you. <laughs> sure. Treasure map obtained. Hmm, so... Can I look at this treasure map? By using it as an item? Or... How does that work? This... 
Oh, the game is just gonna show me, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, I can move the boulder over here. <laughs> the boulder! I can also remove this thing and go this way also. Uh, I cannot move this thing quite yet, because I need 11 people for that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 12. Ooh, I can get this thing, though. In the name is Curse. Uh, let me go and get that thing first. Wait. What are the other quests before I continue? <laughs> I'm back to the village we go. Uh, oh yeah, Night Mystery. Well, I might as well get it right now. Oh, you saw the bulletin board? Let's find the witnesses and talk to them. Looks like everyone's here. I understand that nocturnal beasts have been spotted near the village. Yeah, but the reports I'm getting are a little inconsistent. Huh? What does it mean? Well... I definitely saw an ape. I had large hands and I used them to rattle the barricade. I saw a big beast that looked like a boar. It was wandering near the village entrance. What I saw looked like wolves. There was more than one, and they seemed to be traveling in a pack. What the hell? Everyone saw something different? See what I mean? I want you guys to identify this beast. I need to know what we're dealing with before it starts to do any harm. We may need to adjust our strategy depending on what kind of beast it is. Let's begin our search, Mr. Kristen. No problem to search for castaways. How are we supposed to find them when we're looking for this beast? There's one location in particular I'd like you to explore first. Some villagers uh, heard howling from the towering uh, coral forest. Okay, this is the quest that I was thinking about. <laughs> At the moment, this is the only need we have. If they heard howling, then there's no doubt. Uh, there, there's no. It uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's certainly worth investigating. Uh, let's go right away, I suppose. Well, not right away, though. Huh? Right now? Oh, I always get excited for this kind of stuff. My word. We're not doing this for fun, you know? I need you to explore at night when the beasts are active. The force is very different at night than during the day, so be careful. Oh, the force at night. When you've finished preparing, let's return to the campsite in the forest and wait for nightfall. I will do that. Eventually. <laughs> but not right now. I'm first gonna focus on some other things. Please, take your time. Like making all of my medicine, because I suck at the game. Okay. Um, and then there was also Car Lane. <laughs> Sir Carlin. Boomst needed uh, something. Where is he? He's over here. <laughs> Why would he be in the female quarters? <laughs> oh, I have grown thoroughly bored with commoner food each and every day. I realize that a meal befitting a man of my birth is beyond you, but a nice muni air would, would suffice. Understood? Now go. So I guess I need a muni air. For which I need recipes probably. <laughs> Am I right? Because I only have amulets and fish here right now, yeah. Alright, so let's go and remove that one thing. While listening to the stellar music. <laughs> oh, I love being able to watch the enemies. I love the power. I guess I'll go and... Oh, right, I was gonna make another thing too, to increase uh, skill points gotten. <laughs> Look at him just absolutely murdering everything. Hello. Hang back. Might as well get these things. I hate these things! Hello, wolf. Goodbye, wolf. You would think that, like, very weak enemies wouldn't attack me at a certain point, but nope. Nope, they all just want to die. <laughs> You're on pages straight. Alright. Let's remove the boulder. All these people. I appreciate your cooperation. Indeed. Monkeys? Weathervane Hills. This is an entirely new area. How strong are the monkeys? Level 23, they're my level. Oh. Oh no, they're gonna... <laughs> I'm not sure what they're gonna do, but... I don't trust these monkeys. There we go. <laughs> wow, look at them flying. Yep, they're throwing poop at me. I knew it. 
I can see it from a mile away. Thanks for the stir lumber. Got a monkey coming my way. Oh, monkey! There we go. Are those stronger boars, or maybe? I think so. Yeah. Can you please that? Thank you. Flash guard, bitch. <laughs> and I got myself a new skill too. Do I have any skills that are maxed out quite yet? I'm pretty close to maxing out uh, Rising Sash. Good to know. Okay. For the time being, I'm not gonna look at the next skill then until I have clear to the one that I am using right now. Like the ones that I'm using right now. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> My god. What's his face? Took four damage from that attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. I take like 200 damage for any attack. Hasty Valor. Consecutive Ravage shots aimed straight ahead. Cool. Alright, monkeys. Monkey, monkey! Alright, here he comes. Oh lord! He coming. My god. It feels so good to do, man. This game's come out feels so much fun. It feels so much fun, yes. Can you stop running away? Dang, monkeys. Okay, some more beast down there. Oi, mate. Oi, the edge farmer. Yep. Sahat so took four damage from that attack. I don't even know how much damage we did to me. Okay. Um, so we have a hill up there. There's some enemies down here. Ah, oh, fuck it. Nice for and do it. Well, I would say that. Let me go use my extra skill. More your extra skill. <coughs> T snort three. <laughs> While everything is exploding around me. I've discovered the remains of several pirates on this island. Near as I can tell, these men were marooned here. This intrigues me, or intrigued me, so I decided to do a little more research onto the map. It turns out that an infamous py uh, pirate came ashore on this island nearly a century ago. Now, if only I could find a clue as to how to escape this island. Uh, cool. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll keep going this way for the moment. Hello. Big boy. Big boys, you are beautiful. <laughs> That'll give me a lot of stuff in any case. May also kill me in one shot. Well, almost. Yeah. So now I do know what hard mode does there. It basically makes it so that you just take a metric crap load of damage whenever you get it. Revive medicine, yes. Not a bottle. Awesome. More healing. Like, more healing potential is always appreciated. I seem to remember the end game of this game being really nasty. Like the the enemies at the end game, I seem to remember them being ridiculously nasty. Even in normal mode. <laughs> so I have a tiny feeling that the end game is gonna be real freaking nasty. Once we get to it, of course. I might have become better at that point if I get to that point. <laughs> Surprise, all monkeys! I don't even know how much damage I take from these monkeys. <laughs> There's another item up here. 
And that is it. Let us continue our ascent. Nice. My tornado actually killed him. Hello, buddy. Level 24, nice. I'm getting all soft fiber, which is really good. Because I still needed a sizable amount of that. Alright, buddy. Okay, I've just noticed that when I use a tornado, if I have just used, like, flash guard, and then I use a tornado, then the damage that the tornado does is going to keep being, um, the guard damage, or, like, the extra damage that I get from flash guarding. That's good to know. Indeed. Hello, friends. <laughs> he says as he gets hit. For 200 damage or something. 250 damage, to be precise. There we go. Give me your soft fibers, buddy. It is very difficult to concentrate on not getting hit at all, <laughs> and then also listening to other people have to say. <laughs> oh well, I guess you guys can enjoy it, and while I'm focusing on the combat and not getting myself killed. Alright, it's a new location. With a pretty stellar view, Zephyr Hill. <laughs> what a sight. Indeed. You know, another thing that I really like about this game, like the world of this game basically, it's like how you can see all these places. Like if I if I stand on this thing, I can see a lot of things that I can, there's a lot of things that I can recognize. That tree back there is insane. I just really like this island, like the island theming in this game. I don't think I take fall damage, but I'm not gonna risk it. Let us go down here, hmm? To fight ourselves some more monkeys! Hello, big boy! These guys are easy to flash guard though, which is really nice. There we go. A blood fang. That's an equipment piece, right? HP absorb. Yes, please. That's a big ol' yep. <laughs> Thank you. I go straight into the pocket, buddy. How much of this area did I explore, buddy? 100%. Nice suit. I seem to remember this cave being a little bit nasty. Ah, the headwater falls. Okay, yeah. It's not particularly about being nasty. It's more about... Well, you know, you know, I'm gonna explore a little bit. But I know that I'm not gonna be able to finish this area. Because I need a certain... Um, need a certain adventurer piece. To be able to thoroughly explore this area. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, try to be flying freaking... For this, uh, land sharks. Yeah. Oh lord, they coming! I can go up here to get another chest. Hey, 
A warrior seal too. Oh. <laughs> mm hmm. I did not regret my decision at all. I'll go and get rid of your thing over here and then give you a warrior seal. Get rid of some of your HP. 150 isn't that much anyways. But... Hello, buddies. Dropping stalactites. Okay. Um, let me go over here for a moment. And use... The thing. You have to be right next to the nest, by the way. Because only the only this stuff damages the nests. Yeah. FYI. Oh, wow. Instantly broken. Fuck yeah. Can you please die? Thank you. Okay, so over here. Oh, right, okay. The game's gonna. F oh, this water looks pretty clean. God, I'd probably go for a swim if I weren't with all the beasts nearby. What are you talking about? This water looks dark and cold. <clears throat> and if you want to, if you get caught in a whirlpool and get drowned, you shouldn't swim in this at all. Huh? <laughs> what is the worst for? Why is your face so pale? Don't tell me you're afraid of. <laughs> How dare you? To swim and frighten with water would be a gross mischaracterization. Christ Almighty. <laughs> The vocabulary on this lady is insane. Right. There's some fishing I can do over here, but once again, I'm gonna go out of my way to fish some stuff later on anyway. Okay. This was not really what I expected. 300 and how much damage? Nice. Very nice. I'm also poisoned right now. Wow, that was a... Uh... Interesting. Sword tip fangs. That's very nice. Lactite, frag, uh, fragile branch. Or flexible branch, right? More razor feathers, too. More ore. Flexile. Or sturdy lumber, sorry. A cursed shell. And lustre scales. Wow. This one is a pretty good place to go to. Got some sizable. I got a pretty sizable amount of stuff. There's a deeper part of here, but I cannot... Like, that's the part that I can explore. Uh, let me go back over to the village, I think. Right? Because I fully explored this area and this area. And the only thing I can do right now is b remove this and kill these bees. <laughs> and then also kill this. Uh, these nests. These nests? <laughs> I'm also going to go and get some more uh, insect repellent, I think. Um, Take your time. I guess it's... Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, let me go and get two more of these. See you later! See you later! Yeah, so what's-his-face needs Mulier... 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 Uh, right. How much soft fibers do I have? Um... Let's see, I have 12 right now. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I can make some more costumes with this. That is if Allison would actually be at her post. That's a little bit annoying. Are you gonna go back to your post? Oh, I see. Uh, touch pale? No, I'm fine, really. I'm just worried about my husband, that's all. Hmm. Regardless, I recommend you try to get some. I haven't talked to the NPCs that much, but. I don't care too much. <laughs> Am I gonna make another one of these things? I think I will. Yeah. Just to give another one of those to uh, Loxia, too. Okay. I'm gonna get the pretty lady one. And a good here with it. And the dandy fisherman. And I'm also gonna go make the clingy pickard. And give it to him. <laughs> so the clingy pickard. Uh, so as you can see, Loxia is now pink. Purple, pink, fish. Uh, where is where's my fisherman dude? Well, I can, f I can take a look at him once I go out on the field. Alright. So he now has this jacket, and he <laughs> uh, Hummel now has an amazing pick art. Wait, let me go and show it like this. He has this little pick art next to him. <laughs> hang on his shoulder, it's like hang on his arm, that's amazing. I love that. Alright. Let's go and continue. Or, well, it's 34 minutes actually, I'm gonna stop it over here. I'm gonna read the journal, and that's gonna be the end of it. The end of the episode. <laughs> Let's see. Mar Moro Badesa. A species of monkeys that populates the Isle of Cern, they throw rocks and stones to stun their enemies and display auto-intelligent behavior. And they'll pop up the... 
Papata beads. Massive, short-tempered beasts that inhabit the plateau. They can crush boulders with their wide jaws and powerful teeth. The Gya Shark, ferocious fish that have been sighted on land. Their mouths are lined with poisonous, razor-sharp teeth. They attack in schools to take down prey. Also, these bosses that I forgot. A large room that feels, that feels on rocks. Its mouth is lined with fangs that grind up rocks for consumption. It suddenly and violently explodes from the earth before it attacks. A long beard that has grown to full maturity it requires far more nutrients to maintain its massive body, so it gobbles up everything that comes near its cutness greedy mouth. And the Gargantua. A queen spider that spins its web in the eroded valley. Mother to a vast brute, it captures intruders to feed, up, to feed its many offspring. Right. And Nespers, which I now kill. A hanging Vespa hive. When, when struck, the Vespas inside swarm, er, <laughs> inside swarm enraged, but the delicious uh, honey inside is worth the stings. <laughs> huh. Maybe. Okay. Did I do any more fishing? No. So. I got some new people, though. I got Hamel, transporter, transporter which steers clear of the other castaways. His true objective remains a mystery. Uh, then we have... Dina. An energetic young merchant. After missing a major business meeting, she sets up shop in the silence. Raid skill is uh, paralysis ball. Damage is paralysis to enemy. Hm. Deserted island trader. Uh, determined to return a profit no matter what form, <laughs> what form it takes. She establishes a new trading post on the island. And that's it. Alright, people. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just That. I was playing East 8, like most of Donna. And next episode, we're going to go and continue our exploration. Goodbye.